I'm outside of St. Peter's Church Rectory. We are heading to the Knights of Columbus 1208 Awards Banquet. I didn't have time to put my tie on earlier, so I'm trying to put it on in the parking lot. So, uh, after I get this tie on, we're gonna go ahead and walk on inside the rectory and check out the, the banquet. Banquet for New Iberian Council 1208. My name is Michael Forsythe, and I have the privilege of being the Master of Ceremonies for tonight. Uh, in case any of you are not familiar, the Knights of Columbus was started on March the 29th of 1882. I'm sure none of you were around at that time. I hope not. Uh, anyway, and it was started by Father Michael J. McGivney, and he started with 12 guys in the basement of a church in Connecticut. I'll introduce our guest tonight, our special guest. To my left is Mr. Pat Lawson and his wife, Ann. He is an area coordinator for Knights of Columbus. Tim Boudreau is not able to be here tonight. And we have Michael Arsenault and his wife, Christine, who is treasurer. Michael Forsythe and his wife, Keenan, who's financial secretary. Myself is Grand Knight, and Grand Knight, for y'all that don't realize, it is basically a president. Um, and my wife Patricia couldn't make it tonight. Our chaplain is for the Charles Longwa. Our guest speaker is Deacon William Shambo, and hopefully in the near future, Father Shambo. Uh, Thomas Vilkin and his wife Patricia. Our state secretary is Mr. John Boudreau. His wife Priscilla was not able to make it tonight. Um, Jerry LaSalle was not able to be here tonight. And our district deputy, who is basically the person that kind of watches over our particular council and several others, is Mr. Wayne Duhon Sr. and his wife, Vicki. And the gentleman all the way at the end is Mr. Roland Terrio. We also have trustees. We have trustees, Eugene Como, who's not able to be here tonight, and his wife, Connie. Don Lester and Norma, they're here tonight. Uh, Les Champagne and his wife are not able to be here tonight. Our inside guard is Mr. Terry Pecco. He's towards the back. Outside guard is Mr. Steve Davis. Chancellor is Mr. Nathan Viator. He wasn't able to be here. Rob Westrick, who was not able to be here tonight, is the lecturer with his wife Stephanie. And the warden is Philip DeMaia and his wife Beth is here tonight and his son Donald. We'll ask Father Charles to do an opening prayer and bless the food we're about to receive. Father, if you don't mind. Let us pray. I'd like to call up our Deputy Grand Knight, Mr. Thomas Vilkum, to introduce our guest speaker. Good evening. Welcome. I hope you're enjoying your evening. Uh, that's wonderful. Deacon Shambo was born in Eunice, Louisiana. He will be ordained a priest at uh, the Cathedral of St. John the Evangelist on June 23rd, uh, 2012. It is my great pleasure to introduce our speaker tonight, Deacon William Shambo. I've been studying for the priesthood in the seminary in New Orleans for the last six years. I'll be the only man ordained to the priesthood in the Diocese of Lafayette for this year. And not for vain purposes do I want to fill up the cathedral. That's kind of not what I'm, what I'm about. So the idea to have witnesses there, witnesses of faith, see actually what happens in an ordination what happens at this experience of grace, 
when the bishop imposes his hands, laying his hands on the One of the major functions of the Knights of Columbus provide two charitable organizations. And our membership takes great pride in that. And we are going to present recognitions to different organizations that we feel will benefit from the fundraisers that we have conducted over the course of the last year. Uh, the first organization is St. Francis Diner. I've known Ms. Juanita for quite a few years now and uh, she shared a story with me this afternoon and uh, we're grateful and we know you feed everybody that comes there that deserves it. The Social Service Center. The Social Service Center is actually the Dish the Cluid Social Service Center in memory of Monsignor Dish and uh, Paul the Cluid and Shirley. Can I say something? Yes. Well, I want to thank all the knights. Y'all do so much. And I'm so proud. You know, my daddy was a fourth degree knight in St. Martindale. And we just thought that it was so wonderful. They were always having uh, cookouts, not cookouts, but dinners to raise money for different organizations. And now, you know, I'm connected again. But I think the best thing about it was that he had a sword that we <laughs> Okay, would either uh, Deacon Burke or uh, Deacon Bruce Hart come up for uh, St. Peter's Catholic Church? <laughs> an, organiza a, uh, an organization which you hear a lot about on TV, um, I don't think a representative was able to join us tonight, St. Jude's Hospital. The Iberia Men's Homeless Shelter. Uh, the uh, Safety Net for Abused Persons. St. Mary's Residential Training School. Uh, Allied Christian Soldiers. In case you're not familiar with it, Allied Christian Soldiers helps prisoners and their families during different that's, times of the year. That's not all we do. The Marine Corps is at KC's. We are like an underground organization. And I, we want to oppose anybody that's trying to take Christ out of, out of society. And we do this by putting up yard signs. And we hope you'll support us. If we don't fight back now, our religious freedoms are threatened. If we don't fight back now, we're going to be sorry later. Amen. The assembly sponsors the live, the live nativity scene in front of St. Peter's Church every year. And this year, they've uh, done a lot of work in rebuilding it and adding to it. And we felt that uh, we want to help them to make that a better uh centerpiece to the Christmas season. Thank you. And then for the young men and women that serve as altar servers, uh, Deacon Burke, we have something for you that will help you uh, to improve whatever you need for them. going to present the Catholic Youth Leadership Awards. Now, the two gentlemen that have won this award, uh, you could say are almost cut from the same stock. But at this time, would Don and Prentice come up and receive their Catholic Youth Leadership Awards? You know, the church has been upgrading some things. So we felt that one of the things that the church needed was a processional cross that reflected what St. Peter's Church is. So we have purchased for St. Peter's Church 
this processional cross to give to Father Charles and the church. Um, with our history, being the mother church of your Iberia, the actual physical size of the church, it needs something very significant like the processional cross uh, to play a leadership role. I know that Jesus is tops with us. Jesus is important. And so this beautiful processional cross will really make that point in our community. Thank you very, very much. The first award we want to give out is to the best cook. We're going to give him his own pot stir. So if Mr. Ivory Stevens would come up. Does cook very good food. All fractions with Our next award goes to our top recruiter. Council 1208 has been growing by leaps and bounds. Right now we're averaging one new member a month. That this person has recruited three new members, and it happens to be our grand knight, Brother John Hanks. Award <laughs> goes out to the outstanding new knight. This is a knight that's been initiated for about a year and has shown enthusiasm and embraced everything it means to be a knight. And I'm going to say his name wrong because I can never get his last name right. But with Brother Mark Beyonce, <laughs> please come forward. <laughs> At the time we were planning the two awards I'm going to present is the Knight of the Year and the Family of the Year. The Knight of the Year, this gentleman, uh, he'll take on any project, no matter how small or minor it may be. He cared for a 99, well, for almost a 100-year-old father, who was also a Knights of Columbus. Roland, would you please come up and get your class? <laughs> All right, the family of the year. He can be seen at mass during the week with Stephanie and the kids. They both lead by example. But Stephanie and Kevin, can y'all please come up? Here? At this time, there are six people that we want to recognize for going above and beyond the call of duty. They allow us to do what we do. And these are our wives. Uh, Connie Como could not be here tonight. Uh, next one, Miss Anna Davis, ma'am. We gotta take a picture. Uh, Miss Heidi Gremion is our resident photographer. Barbara Medier, Angela Viator, and Joselle Viator. My right, this is my daughter Mimi. Hi. Thomas, help me out. Victoria and Elizabeth. Hi. Maria. Maria Beyonce and <laughs> Kelsey. 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 These are the young girls that served you and, and join Debbie East on the other side of the <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for coming. We really enjoyed having you here. We're out here in Lafayette, Louisiana at the Festival de Internationale de Louisiana. We're going to head to the a and &E Art Gallery. I'm hoping to have a good time. I heard there was going to be a Tarzan lookalike contest. Oh! Come on here again. She should be able to. All the way to the top. And I'm gonna throw you!